I know we've got lots of lovely things for cooking today, but what are we doing at the moment? So today we are going to make a Filipino adobo. It's one of the easiest dish that wherever you are in the world you can actually make. So um, Katie was just surprised why I only need like meat and I like that. I can get the rest in your cupboard. Right, yes, yeah, so we did go scavenging hunting for all the ingredients on the side. I do have quite a lot of Asian ingredients and Surprise. normal ingredients. There's quite a lot hidden around the kitchen. I'm actually impressed to be honest. Yeah. Right, so am I cutting this? Yes, so okay. for the adobo, it's one of those things that if you're in a hurry and if you're a mum and you need to feed your kids... Perfect um, for me then. Yes. Perfect. This is one of the easiest meal that you can prepare straight away. Right, um, okay. It doesn't take long. Um, like this? Yeah, that's perfect. And this is uh, pork belly, is it? Pork belly, that cheapest we, cut. Yeah, that we got from Swansea it's Market. From yesterday. And it was about two pounds? Two pounds. I was actually so surprised. And I was, because I don't actually use belly pork because it's quite fatty, mm -hmm. but apparently this is this is the recipe for belly pork. So my kids love pork, Alan loves pork, I love pork. So this sounds, well, we're all very excited to be honest. That's good. No pressure again for me. <laughs> so we take these little bits of cartilage out. Yeah, I'd normally just leave them because they okay. add flavour. Just okay. cut, cut them the way they are. Put it back in. Yeah, that's not what uh, should, should we put it? Should we put it in the bowl? We put them in a the bowl because um, in I think in the Philippines everyone makes it a double slightly different, but I just like mine to sip with flavour. So they've got a different version of making mm. their double wherever you are. So, so this piece has got a bone. You have to like take it off. Mm -hmm. And, and you, then, you said this is off the rib, is it? This yeah. piece? That's off the rib, which is quite good, and I have to include that as well in our, our cooking today. We don't waste anything. All goes. So this is actually... Yeah, we just, we just put it in. Good. I, I don't like waste either, so that's great. Yeah. I think you're quite surprised that I just like... You're very... Um, Josie's cooking is very much like, I was like, what do we need? She's like, I'm fine. Do we need special rice? No, any rice. <laughs> it's, it's quite refreshing because there are so many recipes that are quite finicky but I think yours could be adapted with whatever you've got in the house. I think um, this is what I've learned over the years like living in different places. Because um, you have lived all over the world haven't you? Sort of. <laughs> she speaks like four languages people. <laughs> sort of. So it's it's easy to like, this is like one of the dish that I miss most of the time. So I'll just put some fish sauce in mine. I'll marinate them with fish sauce and pepper just to give it like, um, how do you call that, a nice saltiness flavour. Mm, sounds nice. Um, yeah. It's the pepper there. This is your electric one. This is my one that everyone likes. It's got a light on the bottom. <gasps> it actually has a light. Just bag. fish salt on there now and pepper. Yeah, so anything else? Know, um, I would normally put like a wee salt. salt. Just use my horns. Hands. Sorry. <laughs> and that's like, like sea salt that is, flakes, sea, which yeah, is my favourite to use. My favourite as well. And that's it. Just leave that to sit now, is it? I'll leave it there for just a few minutes while we do other things. For our double, Katie, yes. what we're going to do is such simple ingredients as you can see. So I've got an onion. I would normally use probably like three cloves of garlic right? and bay leaves, that's right. all. That's it. Salt and pepper. I think everyone's got salt and pepper in their cupboard. Yes. That's it. And fish sauce. Everyone should have fish sauce in their cupboard. Yes. I'm a big fan of fish sauce. Later on we're going to use soy sauce. Again, um, you can get this in your supermarket and vinegar, that's all. Yes. Lovely. I'm really Nothing fancy. It. And let's start. So right. we're going to cut. We're gonna cut, oh god, I'm not very good with onion. Oh, do I need to do that then? No, it's okay. I'll just cry down the spoon. It's meant to be like an easy dish, but since um, we've just finished our Christmas period, yes. so I'm gonna Is it to... healthy? What one? The adobo yeah. one? Yeah. Um, Healthy-ish, I would say. It's probably better than takeaway, I would have said. I've and it looks like it's going to be on the same sort of par as a nice takeaway. But quicker and cheaper and we're going to say healthier. Healthier, I would say, because there's not a lot of... There's no fat in there. You don't find any fat Apart from the pork, that's mm. all. Yeah. Sliced? Yes, please. You can slice, um, slice it the way you want it. There's nothing... No rule. Really. Wait. <laughs> I was just... 
I was just scared. The whole game just, table would just collapse. I know. And the good thing about this one is just, you know, I think this is one of the first dishes that I've learned as a child. Yeah. So. So does this remind you of home then? This is quite comforting food. Yes. Yeah, so. So like I would have a cow or a stew. Uh huh. And then you would have something like this. That's right. So, so easy. I remember when we were auditioning for the... I'm sorry I made you cry. No, it's all right. I, my eyes are really bad at the moment, then, Jens. I don't know why. I need those goggles. Katie's very emotional at the moment. I'm just going to cut them up. Oh, I feel like I'm blind. <laughs> Josie. <laughs> I'm like, how are you? Oh, my God. Help. I should have about it. Yes, you should have come back. But it wouldn't have made a difference because they would have been next to me. I think I might invest <laughs> in a pair of those goggles. And if I do, I will put a photo up, I promise. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. our pan is not that hot yet. Not that hot, but that's fine. Okay. I'm going to try and put some olive oil. Olive oil. Little, little. Because we're trying to be healthy, so we're going to do olive oil. How much? A little bit more, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, once it's heated up, we're going to sauté our onions and garlic together and then we'll put them aside. So what are we looking for when we're sautéing the onions and garlic? Are we looking for them to be like brown or just soft? Um, I just like them soft. Soft, so no colour. I don't want them burnt because then uh, things uh, taste. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll wait for that. I think to heat up a bit to more. To heat up a wee bit more and then that should be fine. So I've got, um, so for example, I've got my cast iron pot here. Mm -hmm. Would that something you could use this for? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because you can make them in big batches or something. Mm. So I think this is perfect as yeah. well. Yeah, okay. Because I like doing that. Yeah, I use that for my stews and everything. Uh -huh. so. I've got one as well. Mm, yeah, it's real. I bought that for the show. Is it? Yeah, for Britain's Best Home Cook. Oh. Special. Special. I think it's a good excuse, like isn't it, to get one. Then they're smelling now a wee bit, so it should be okay. So that's all you need, just then, um... Other people like put onions first before garlic? Right, yes, I, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. I usually put them together. I put them, I put the garlic first because they're slightly harder. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm halfway through, um, so are we going to put them in the pork in there next? Yeah, no, what I do is um, I'll take this out. Mm -hmm. I don't want them overcooked. Alright, okay. So this is what I do, so I just leave that out and then this is the time where um, I'm going to add more. That's it. So, I'm going to try that in the next. Do you want to turn that on a bit now? We've got a bit high you do? Or no, okay? that's perfect, right, yeah. It smells nice and soft. You can smell, it smells lovely. Yeah. So, so, what I'm trying to do is just to um, brown them up a bit. Okay, yeah. Just to get the oil out and it's, it's nice and crispy. Because that's a render. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I will then um, put my vinegar and then we'll okay. put the soy and then I'll let it simmer. Yeah. And halfway through simmering, I add. I add them and I add the beans and that's it. That's it, right? Okay. And just leave, I'll leave it there and I'll do some other things. Yeah. Maybe while doing this, we can cook the rice. Yeah. Because the, the rice, rice is going with it, yeah. is it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can see it's starting to go golden brown yeah. now. So you just leave it like that. It anyway. smells. Lovely. And it was just like, so it smells so good. And you've not even put anything in it. No, there's hardly anything in there at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's why I like pork. So would you like gnaw on the bone? I like the yeah. That, yeah. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that. Just like that. Let, let it like um, cook through a wee bit, okay. and then we'll simmer it with um, soy and vinegar. And that's it. It's quite good. Brown it is now. So that's a pork that we get cooked. And then you start adding the thing. Yeah, you have the three, three bits, right? You don't need to um, scrunch it or anything. I just normally just do that. All right, okay, you break the mallet. Oh, yeah. okay. That's it. Very nice. It's lovely. I can't nothing, wait to try it. Nothing fancy. Now, I know we need to measure. Yeah. So I might have to, like, measure so Katie can tell you 
what to do. Do we need you to treat you as a cat? Yes, please. That's a good idea. Uh, this is half a cat there. Yeah. This is bubble quite a lot, but... Okay, that's yeah. just under half a cup then. Yeah. So maybe a third of a cup? Let me see. That's actually there. Yeah, half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup, right. Half, half a cup. Maybe a quarter. Yeah, yeah, so maybe a third. Yeah, yeah a third. third yeah. yeah, a third. Yeah, a third. Of vinegar and so yeah. And you said you're looking to balance the flavours, didn't you, yeah. yesterday? So, it's just so easy. So what we'll do is, I will try and taste the, um, sauce. Taste the sauce. Tasting spoons, look right here. There you go. So I would normally do that so you don't need to waste. Still um I need to balance it a wee bit more. Yes, yes, but it is nice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. And the importance of tasting, because this is something I always tell people. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know how you can cook and not taste because it's. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. Just a sprinkle in? Yes, please. That's it. A bit more, or is that right? A little bit more. A bit more. We'll put it higher then. That's okay. Ah. So, because we need that. Yes. Do you want to put the heat on now? Or yeah, do you want to let gonna, it. I'm going to taste it first before. Um, Here they are. Tastes good. Perfect. So, we just have to. See if um, the saltiness is okay for you, because it has to be. Um, it has to be like. Well, yeah, I was thinking about it because if it's with the rice, because that's just plain rice, uh -huh. you need it to be quite strong. It's salty, but not as salty as what it was. I like it. Yeah. So leave it like that, right? Because uh, the it, the sauce needs to thicken up a bit. Yeah, that's lovely. That's it. Should we leave it like that? Mm -hmm. See, and you can see that it's all so. Yeah, so you just carry on. Um, you don't want that to stick in the pan. It will caramelize eventually. Oh, sounds mm, yes. And that's it.